Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So yesterday I uploaded a video regarding FSSAI that is Food Safety and Standard Authority of India and the direct recruitment post which has been uploaded like vacancies which have been created over there and uh, there were three posts mostly the three posts on which chemistry people can target on they were like food analyst uh, that was for technical officer and for the central food safety officer so these were the three posts on which uh, like a lot of focus was there for us in the previous video also and there are a lot of vacancies over here as you can have as you can see all the other details i have discussed in that video so in case if you have not watched that video till yet i will give you link of that in the i button so you can click on the i button and you can watch that video in detail right now today in this video i'm going to talk about the syllabus of it because after uploading that video i got a lot of comments regarding uh, what will be the syllabus because that is entirely different from chemistry so how to prepare for it because that will be easier for a person who has done masters in food security or who has done masters in uh, like um, something related to the food security and all right but for a particular person who has done masters in chemistry who has not studied about them so how he can prepare for this particular exam so i'm going to talk about what is the syllabus how you can prepare it how much it is different from your usual chemistry syllabus and which books you can follow okay so everything will be done in this video in detail so stay with this video till the end and uh, now without wasting any time let's continue with our video Alright, so there were three posts as uh, you might have already known, uh, food analyst was the first one in which the vacancies were few and also there was experience which was asked. So I just said that let's just uh, overlook for this for now because most of you who are freshers in chemistry, who have done masters in chemistry and want to uh, do job in FSSCI, they are more oriented towards technical officer and uh, the second one that is your food security officer, food safety officer. So I'll be talking about both of them. So let's talk about the syllabus over here. The syllabus and the exam format is same for both of them. Okay, for both the positions, syllabus and exam format both are same. So there are 180 minutes which are going to be given to you. 120 questions will be given to you. Four marks for each correct answer, and one negative mark for each wrong answer. Now, if you come a little down, this is the syllabus for part A. Now, as I said, the whole question paper of 120 MCQs will be divided in two parts part a will consist of your 40 questions okay 40 questions in part a out of those 40 questions this is how the distribution is done so 10 question based upon your general intelligence 10 on general awareness 10 on english language and 10 on computer literacy and rest of the questions will be like from 20 20 and 40 this is how the rest of the uh, division is so let's talk about everything in detail okay so for the general intelligence okay now these 40 questions will be very easy to do if you have prepared for general aptitude part of csir net it will be quite usual or quite uh, like similar to that because here in the general intelligence these 10 questions will be based upon your uh, questions on analogies questions based upon similarities and differences questions based upon different solving problem solving skills based upon analysis so all the questions which are logical based right those types of questions you are going to get in the general intelligence where some logic you have to apply to solve it let's say the question will be like some person x is going towards left then he takes right then again he takes left so in which direction he is facing something like that okay so these type of logic based questions will be in the general intelligence part so 10 questions out of those over here your arithmetical reasoning is also there reasoning you know how reasoning questions are asked just like that okay so all the uh, like all your general reasoning and general awareness both sorry general intelligence both of them will come under this particular 10 questions next is your general awareness awareness means here questions related to your history culture geography economics and general polity means your civics that's what we call in uh, like uh, in a usual manner and uh, including your indian constitution these 10 questions will be there based upon your uh, history historical questions will be there based upon geography based upon different cultures so these 10 questions will be like that 
then next 10 questions will be on your english language english language means the questions will be based upon your vocabulary based upon grammar okay similar questions we have done in gate so in gate also few questions like around four or two questions are asked based upon english in the same way here 10 questions will be there okay synonyms antonyms so these things will be asked spelling error and all so 10 questions based upon it and the at the end 10 questions from your computer literacy that is again very simple it is based upon if you have done a regular if you have used computer regularly and if you know the basics of ms office how to copy how to paste how to like shortcuts of few things so those things will be asked copy paste are very simple things but yet uh, this is how the questions will be asked based upon word excel powerpoint okay including the basic commands as i said google doc emails digital signature how to apply digital signature and all commonly use social media handles like for, uh, whatsapp facebook twitter so these things like related to these things are going to be asked in the computer literacy so the the objective of this is to know that whether you have knowledge of computer or, or not these co 10 questions if you are a technical or, or if you are techie if you are a technical freak then you will be definitely will be able to do all these 10 questions if you have used computer i hope like for now if you are watching this video on youtube of course you are familiar with computer and you are familiar with the basic commands so you don't have to put any extra effort on these so these 40 questions are very simple okay they can be done without any prior preparation okay so don't get don't hesitate with these things they are very simple things just by the preparation of all the exams these are some common things which are asked all over the other different exams so this is not something very difficult the some the thing which is which is different from what you have studied is from your part b okay now the part b has uh, like it is going to test your functional knowledge and your indicative syllabus is there okay so the first thing is indian and international food laws so here you have to study you have to read what are your food safety and standard act of india 2006 what are its provision what are different uh, definitions of it then f double s food and safety uh, food safety and uh, standards rules and regulation then overview of the other relevant national bodies like APD, APEDA, BIS, uh, EIC then MPEDA these are all different boards which regulates the standard of food which is being packed which is being sold which is being consumed all over the country okay so that's what you have to study don't worry I'll tell you from where you have to study so these things will will be like based upon entire your uh like i'll i'll suggest you some books also so you just have to like get those books and you have to read all these things from there so just by reading those books you will be able to just like you are preparing your history just like you are preparing your geography right people used to study they used to read and the more they read the more they remember so it's like just like that you have to just remember the things here so nothing to uh, like uh, let, nothing to understand as such you just have to remember the things what will be the uh, like regulation number so and so so these things will be asked so 20 questions based upon them okay uh, next will be your uh, like fssai role functions and initiatives means what fssai has done so you have to study about the history of S fssai so just search for this particular uh, like term on google that fssai role and functions you will be able to get a lot of articles and you can read them and just read more and more about it especially if these points are there just read those points like what is the genesis and evolution of fssai just this just do this uh, uh, like keyword search on google and you will get some articles read those articles okay what is the structure and function of food authority you will be able to get some articles out of it read those articles these are all free free source from where you can do uh, of course books are available but i'm just telling you how you can prepare in free you don't have to pay for that okay just by doing uh, google search and downloading different articles and pdfs you will be able to read so this is how these 20 questions will be done going for the next 40 questions this comes principles of food preservation processing and packaging now here some of your chemistry will be used like uh, what are the food preservatives what is their work how they are going to act now of course in our class 12 we used to have a chapter named as chemistry in everyday life that chapter is going to help you over here whatever you have studied over there like uh, rancidity of food how it happens how you can product protect it uh, which part of food makes the food spoil early so all these things are there okay these comes under this now here your chemistry is going to come 
again principle and basics of food chemistry and their role in human nutrition again here also your chemistry is going to come see structure and function of macro and micronutrients role of macro and micronutrients in human uh, nutrition then overview of food additive with respect to their technic uh, technological function so all these things basically are your chemistry only but the thing is that you don't have all the data at a place to remember or to study right that's the only thing once you will study and once you will read it you will find key all these things we have already studied in class 10th 12th or in your bachelor's we have already studied it you have just overlooked them because that time it was not that useful but now it becomes useful okay again the food microbiology and general principle of food hygiene this is mostly for those who have done masters in microbiology they will be able to do questions from here because microbial food spoilage how it happens what are food borne diseases and which uh, like which vitamin deficiency can be cured by which uh, vitamin okay or which food item so these things we have already studied and then comes your general concept of food analysis and testing Hi here there these are all analytical techniques means laboratory sampling how it is done uh, right so how, which analytical method is going to be used like you can see here that mass spectrometry right uh, molecular techniques then your principle and quality assurance means how you assure that a particular part compound or a particular food is of a particular good quality so these things under comes under general concept and of food analysis and testing so there will be total 40 questions based upon this so you can see mostly the things are from your chemistry microbiology and basic sciences which you have studied regarding the food items now from where you have to prepare for this we have a specific books okay then if you go for the next post which is central food safety officer which is again going to have pay level of seven it has similar uh, syllabus you will come down and see syllabus is pretty simple everything is same okay so you don't have to do anything so if you are appearing for any of the exam or if you are appearing for both the exams uh, like central food safety officer or uh, for this technical assist of sorry technical officer so if you are going to apply for any of these or if you are going to apply for both of them the syllabus is same now from where you have to study see i'll tell you one thing very frankly that i have personally not given this exam till yet okay and i have not appeared in the exam as such so that's why i won't be able to help you out with the type of questions okay that what questions will be asked or how the question is asked okay because there, there is no personal uh, experience of mine in it but i have my friends i did a little bit of research i talked to them and they told that what type of questions are there so they told that questions are not that much difficult but yet because we are not aware about food safety laws okay we don't know what are those laws so for that there are specific books which are available on the internet and they are available on amazon and different uh, like e site okay the the e commerce sites so some books which they have recommended me i am recommending you guys okay so it's not from it's not coming from my personal experience it is coming from those who have already given these exams earlier they have recommended these books okay so i will just quickly take you to the book so the first one which will fulfill one part of your uh, like syllabus which is uh, food safety law okay indian and international food laws so this particular 20 questions will be done with this book this book is a very like it's a comparatively cheaper book 85 rupees you have to pay for it it is food safety and standard act 2006 that's the book it's a november 2020 edition so it's quite a recent edition the link to reach out to this particular book will be there in the description of this video okay so you can directly come up to this particular page don't worry every link will be there in the description you can come to this page and you can if you want you can purchase this book also i tried to search it on google and i could not find the pdf of it maybe i didn't give much time to this but if you have time you can try to search the pdf of these books if it is available online okay so it's better to first read the pdf and then purchase book in case if you want to prepare so don't just run and purchase the books just see that whether the content available in the book is useful for you or not okay so food safety and standard act although these things i'm telling you these are available free of cost also in on internet but you have to search them okay like all these points are there on the internet but you have to search them one by one and if you don't want to put that much effort then you can purchase these books and if you just zoom this a little bit you will see that all the things are like here okay food safety and standard rules food safety and standard authority of india okay so everything is there 
uh, you can just check it out okay fine so i'll just zoom it out the second book which they recommended is a book which is a com a competition book for food safety officer okay it's a objective approach so in this particular book there are objective questions also but mostly the things are given in a comprehensive manner as per what they have told me that the questions are like that the things are given in detail so all the other things which are there in the syllabus means uh, the principle of food preservation processing and packaging and basics of food chemistry all these things are there in this particular book okay so this book covers the rest of the part of your syllabus and it's a it's a like it's a comparatively thicker book okay there are a lot of pages in this all right so if you see the the content of this book so here they are given so these you can see so it goes with content syllabus for the food safety officer is there then role of food safety officer okay i'll just zoom this up a little bit yeah then you have a uh, role of food standard specification of food products proximate analysis of food product cereals pulses and oil seed processing so all the things you can see uh, food preservation and microbiology and then metabolism digestion and absorption uh, uh, sorry huh, absorption uh, then you have 500 questions for practicing in fill in the blanks true and false you have 500 questions then you have different literature which are being cited important points to remember abbreviations which are being going to be asked development in food microbiology and then you have short notes and model paper so this book contains quite a bit of everything what you need to prepare for this exam there is one more book which is quite costly as compared to the two of them as i showed you so the book goes something like this yeah so it's an objective food science book which is 2021 edition over here it's a quite comparatively like uh, a little uh, you know costly book so i don't think it is available online or not for now but yeah i will give you link to reach out to all these books and uh, like purchase them if you want okay now here the contents if you see so the content are like food microbiology food engineering food chemistry food technology okay then you have matching type questions supplements for ct uh, cftri entrance exam then short technical essay uh, so yeah and then abbreviations previous years exam paper cftri entrance exam and then you have uh, gate food technology and all those things okay so this is mostly for those people who are preparing for food technology and those who are from food technology who are giving gate exam also for the same for them this book is there okay so i have tried to find out uh, from all my sources and this is the information which i can gather i thought that if i will share with you and if uh, any of one of you is interested you can like if you want to go for it uh, you can go okay one more thing i just want to make again very clear that these books are not recommended from my personal experience it is coming from the recommendations of those who have appeared in this exam okay so if you are okay with it you can take this recommendation and you can go for these books again before purchasing the book try to find out the pdf of the same book or if it is available internet on internet or not okay by the way the link for all these books will be there in the description of this video you can simply click on those links and you can like if you want you can purchase these books from there all right so that's it from my side for this video i hope that uh, you guys wanted this because a lot of comments i got regarding this and i hope this will make uh, this will help you guys to prepare for the exam and, and that's it from my side all the best for your exam and uh, give your best bye bye take care